A mad buyer who wrote an offer on one of my listings last month is harassing me on both my Facebook pages, posting reviews that I was rude and I'm a bad agent. I have never met this person. Should I try to get the review removed or respond to the claims? Leah, Leah, Leah. First off, I highly respect you, Leah. I love the brand you're with. I, I really do. Here's my advice to you. I went on, I did a little research because I love you, girl. And I went on and I saw your review. And I'm going to tell you, you're right. It's not fair that you have a review that someone never bought a house with you. But you can also flip it and say it's not fair that people who never bought a home for you can give you a five-star review. So you can flip it either way. What I would do is I would tell you that this person felt this way and it didn't work out for them. And I would use this, this is what Tyler would do, this is what I would do. I would use this and say, this is a learning experience and it's a hard one, damn it, it sucks, right? I got myself out there, people are looking at my Facebook page, I did what Tyler did and I got a bad review. What can I do and take this review and learn from it? That's what I would do. I would not delete the review, I don't think you can actually, but I wouldn't delete my page, I wouldn't start over, I wouldn't do that because I'm authentic. Some people are going to either love me and they're going to hate me. And it's a personality. And you know what? I would want people to love me. If they don't like me, this is buying a house. The, most, the biggest financial decision, they shouldn't use me. And, you know, this person just a little bit angry. I looked at it. It seems like they're overly angry. I think a response is always warranted. So I would respond to it. And I would use it as a learning lesson, you know? I'd even be apologetic. Like, hey, I'm sorry that I, I offended you. I'm sorry that you felt I was pushy or rude or whatever it is. I'm sorry, right? And what can I do to make it up to you? I know you're not gonna use me or, or the brand, but I, that's not the intentions, and at least you're showing your side of the story. If I, was a, if I was a consumer, I read that, I would question things, but if I saw a response, guess what? I'd be like, hmm, there's two sides to every story. I, I wouldn't do anything but respond. That's what I would do. And I would, you know what I'd do? And I, I would run, run and race to get more reviews, to get more people who do love me, to write big ones. Because if you have a buyer or a seller that's grading you off of one review, one review, they're probably not a buyer or a seller for you, right? That's how I look at it. If you're gonna judge me just on this one review and I have 12, 20, 30, 50 other ones that are great, you know what? I, I, I'm, we're probably not gonna be a good match anyways, right? Because nobody's perfect. And I'd look at this as a, how can I do better? You know what, maybe they felt that way. I get it. It's hard when you get that type of feedback and now you're out there publicly and you think buyers and sellers are looking at this. You don't like it, but you know what you can do is just tell people, hey, review me, I need your help. How, if I took great care of you, do me one favor and review me. And all you can do is generate enough business so that way you can get more people to review you and it can just, that just falls at the bottom and the bottom and the bottom and the bottom. You, you're not gonna be the first or last person to get a bad review. You're just not, it happens.